So again, the importance of making sure that your objects snap and that they are based off the grid is super, super important. And as I said, we're basing this off of the UDK unit size. Uh, Unreal Engine 4 is twice this size, but the concept is going to remain the same. Okay, so right now I have an environment texture that is at this little guy here is at 512. Um, the actual texture is 512 by 512. Okay, it's half of the character height. Okay, this is my at the start of the the game, start of the production. This is what we've decided: is that a full character is going to use a 1024 or a 2048. Again, it doesn't really matter. Um, the character size, like I said, is set up for UDK. Um, Unreal Engine 4 is twice that, but our unit of measure, um, the important thing that you need to realize is it just needs to stay consistent. If you're using 2048s as your character height, you got to stick with that throughout the entire thing. If you're using 4096s, you got to stay with that the entire uh, game. Okay, and again, the ratios, right? The most important thing in the scene typically is the character. It's also one of the taller things, so that's what you base the environment off of because the viewer will have relation to the character. It's very easy to help with scale. 1024 um, is twice that of a 512, so two 512s fit, well, just top to bottom, um, two 512s will come out to the same height as a 1024. I know there's four 512s and a 1024, but I'm just saying height-wise. If you stack them up, there's two of them. The importance of this, obviously, is to make sure that if you're making wall trims, floor tiles, or whatever, they all stay within the relative scale of, an, of each object. This is, again, very important for mit mapping and whatnot, um, especially when the objects start to degrade in the scene, depending on streaming or whatever. You want the objects to be consistent. And these, this texture pattern is your friend, okay? And we're going to talk about this as we go on. Um, but if you're using multiple objects, multiple UV domains, it is very important for most of the time to try and keep your UVs relatively in scale. And this is why you see objects covered with checkers and whatnot, especially especially if you're doing stuff that's more complicated with shaders. Same thing here. We got a 2048, two times character height, 4096, four times character height. Um, Okay, and again, this is just this is an arbitrary number. This is based off of, um, well, the the, the uh, character height is based off of UDK. Um, but if we decided it was a 2048 for the character height, it'd be a 1024 would be half that. The resolutions are the sizes increases, and they're based off of powers of two, obviously. Um, but they have to be consistent throughout the uh, as much as you can. And again, this will help. Uh, maintain visual continuity throughout the scene, which is important because a person's eye will go to um, to areas of contrast or areas of change, areas of visual noise. Um, so it, this is important because if you're designing a texture or a world texture, something that's going to be tiled repeatedly or whatever in the scene, you want to know how much detail to put into that that object and what it's going to look like, right? If you have a 512 texture and you have more detail in there than a texture can support, it's going to look muddy, it's going to look nasty. So we'll just throw the normal map on here. Now again, this is, we're using a, this is Max 2013 or 2014. Um, the uh, nitrous display can get a little wonky, just do that uh, gamma trick that I just showed you to turn off the gamma. Um, that's very important because it'll, uh, definitely mess up your uh, normal maps there. Let's throw a little light on here too so you can see this.